Welcome to part two of the video. I've let the background area dry completely and I'm gonna start on the middle um, hillside of grapes. So I'm using a nice um, green color that has plenty of yellow in it. So it's a yellow green and I'm putting in the rows of the grapes following the directions that are in the reference photo. So once I'm happy with the basic shapes of these rows, now I can start putting in some shadow colors. So it's basically the same color, you just notice that I picked up some cobalt blue to darken that color a little. And I'm putting in the shadows at the base of the rows. Here I'm just mixing up some uh, color for the cast shadows and all I'm doing is I'm picking up a little bit of red and I'm mixing it in with the color that I already was using and I'm going to use this color for the cast shadows. So now I can move on to the grapes that are in the foreground. Again, I'm going back to that nice yellow green. This is almost just pure yellow that I'm putting in first. And now I'm mixing up a darker green using a cerulean blue, cobalt blue, and yellow ochre. And once again, I begin forming the grape shapes by putting in the shadows. Now because that yellow paint is still wet, these two colors are gonna to merge together. It's just gonna be a real soft blend between the more yellow green and the more blue green.
Now to form the um, the base of the grapes, I guess you would call them the trunks or the stems, um, I'm using the same color but I've added in a little bit of that red. The same shadow color that I used up above, only this time it's a little darker. And there you can see I'm adding just a touch of violet. I picked up some alizarin crimson and some um, French ultramarine blue. And this is just going to give a little bit of an accent color to it. Now I've picked up my smaller brush and I'm putting in the final details of those, uh, the trunks or the, the stems of the grapes. Now for the cast shadows, I'm going to use the same color. I just added a little bit of water so that it's not quite so dark. And you can see by adding those cast shadows that the grapes really start to take form. So now that the grapes are done, I can work on those background buildings. And what's important here is just to put in the suggestion of the buildings. Because this is so far in the background, you really don't want this to be detailed. So what I'm doing is just putting in some color for the buildings and adding in some shadow areas. Now the final step of the painting is just to add in a little bit of color to that rock where it has the, the large white areas. I don't want it to be completely white, I want to have some color on there. And with that, the painting is just about finished. There you have it, the final painting. Hey, thanks a lot for joining me and I hope that you enjoyed this video.